Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to install uh, a certificate on our uh, uh, VMware vCenter server. So this is done pretty much uh, like any other certificate. We'll generate a CSR and then uh, we will go to RCA and uh, use the CSR and get, get a certificate and install it. Uh, so let's do that now. So in uh, vCenter uh, server 7, uh, we will go to menu, administration, uh, certificate management, and uh, we want to replace this machine certificate. So we will go ahead and uh, generate a CSR, common name, organization. We need an organization, so lab organizational unit is lab. And uh, we don't need any of these, I don't think. And uh, key size is 248, that's good. So state, locality, these are all required. So and, and let's say that's good. So then we'll go on next, and that is our certificate request. We can copy that, and now we're going to our CA, which will be here. Request a certificate, advanced request. So we want a web server certificate template and we'll paste our certificate request here and submit. Uh, certificate request that was issued. We can download the certificate. We can do the base 64 encoded and download certificate. Then we're going back to our uh, vCenter server interface. We can go ahead and uh, click finish here. And now we can import and replace certificate. Place with a certificate. This would uh, I mean, it did generate a CSR, so I don't see why would we be replacing uh, the private key. So well, let's try this. Replace with choose. Ah, let's try this one more time. Um, so we're going to actions and import and replace certificate. Uh, and uh, replace the server. server. Hmm. Replace with assigned certificate. Hmm, this interface is
We've generated a CSR. Import or replace certificate. We don't need a private key. Let's try just the certificate without the private key with this interface. And uh, private key is already on the machine, so. Replace with a certificate. Okay, so this would be an appropriate option, I believe. Actions import and replace certificate replace the certificate generated from vCenter server so replacing the certificate that was generated from vCenter and we don't have a chain we just have a certificate so that's the certificate we have just generated at RCA and uh, We do not need a uh, chain of trust root certificate. Okay, maybe just once our root certificate, so we can go ahead back to our CA. And, uh, and, uh, CA certificate, we just need the CA certificate. This is our CA certificate, download the certificate. So there. Uh, this is the one we, this is the CA certificate. And uh, that is our signed certificate. So let's replace that. Our session is no longer authenticated. That's fine. We got logged out and uh, uh, the service is restarting. Let's see if it worked out the way we expected. Uh, and vCenter. I think uh, the service is still restarting, so we need to give it a little bit of time. Ah, there. So, uh, the services are still starting up, but our certificate is valid now. That's our new certificate. vcenter.lab.local issued by our CA uh, that is working properly so The server is still starting up, so we need just a little bit more time. That's our ESXi box. Yep, still initializing. So I'm going to pause this recording for about five minutes, let this start up, and then we'll check on it afterwards.
Okay, so I've let a couple of minutes pass, and now we can uh, go ahead and uh, go to our uh, vSphere client. As we can see, we have uh, this certificate that is valid, and our connection is secure with no uh, error. This is a proper certificate. So just to recap the process, uh, what we want to do do when we're installing uh, the certificate. Well, uh, actually, um, when we're doing, um, first we generate a search signing request. Uh, so we are going to, hmm, everything looks good. And uh, we're going to administration from the menu and then uh, we would go to certificate management think some of the services are still not fully started up even though we can enter the interface I'm just gonna give it a little bit of time pause it so we can come back and uh, check out, check it out Okay, so after another several minutes, we are able to go to menu administration and certificate management, and we're able to check our certificate now. So we have this new certificate that we installed along, which is this one, no, not this one, uh, the... This one, this is our CA certificate that we installed along with the signed certificate. So, uh, and this is the actual certificate that we've generated with the signing request. We didn't need a private key because it was already there. This is all the information we entered. So just to recap, uh, if you're installing a uh, certificate, if you want to sign certificate, so uh, import and replace certificate, and you're uh, you're replacing with a certificate generated from vCenter server. That's the correct flow of things, and then you put your signed certificate here, and uh, any uh, root relevant root certificate here. So that's, uh, that's the recap of that. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope this was useful to you guys and I'll see you in the next video.